All right, so we got the boat back from the stereo guy. Shane hasn't got to see it yet. I told her she couldn't see it until I was ready to film some of this stuff. And I forgot the instruction booklet for the head unit, so I'm not sure if I can even connect the phone to it. So we're gonna find out. So while Shelby's turning everything on, we've gone to, we did a fusion head unit. We got the cheaper model. Just hold on a minute, bud. We got the cheaper model because we didn't need to do a bunch of zones. We just got just the speakers in the cockpit. I don't have anything out on the swim platform or anything inside. Uh, I really didn't see any sense in it. Um, we got one wired remote. It's also Fusion. Shelby, where's the box for the other one? We got one wireless remote, which is pretty cool. Open it up. Also Fusion. We're gonna stick it back on a swim platform. This little dude, basically 3M double-sided tape on the back. We'll stick it where we want it. Shane will hold that. And actually, you can take that off, take it on the beach with you, take it out on the raft with you, take it inside with you, and the base will stay on the boat. So, anyway, we went with three Fusion amps. Goes with the Fusion head unit. We have four seven inch blue waves, two two inch super tweeters. We have two 10 inch subs. And then we got four nines across the back. And then he had to reinforce and rebuild this back panel here. All the speakers got uh, adapter plates and they're, they're backed with board behind that to keep them from rattling all these were redone they fit nice so should be able to there's the front speaker we were really hoping to fit nines in this hole but this right here is couldn't be cut out and make it look nice so each side got a seven up front do you want to grab that And we still have enough room to put our bimini poles down in here and just a couple of things they're aluminum so they won't attract anything to the uh, coils the magnet coils on the back of the um, speakers so let me see if i can get this thing up and running and we'll see what it sounds like all right so i've had to find my uh music that won't get hit with copyright so i'm using my epidemic epidemic sound music it's what we use on our videos so we don't get hit with copyright problems on youtube uh some of y'all don't like it don't really care but uh found something that we can play we'll crank it up a little bit and uh see what y'all think projects.